Okay, guys, good evening. Um, Kelly, a.k.a. Dragon Lee, just left here. Uh, I've known Kelly from day one. Um, he's become a good friend over the years. He's got an 87 Grand National. Um, he was complaining that uh, the car was falling flat on its face in high gear. Um, and that when the engine got warmed up, it didn't want to start with a dam. If it was cold, it would start up okay. If he let it sit for 15, 20 minutes, it would start up again. Um, if you guys remember, I put up a video, I forget what I call it, um, ignition failure on power logger or something. And you could see the when I got into high gear, the, the car just flat out fell on its face. I'd get to the throttle a bit and lean into it. And it was ignition module. This is the ignition module from Kelly's car. Um, we were running short on daylight, and Kelly's got a two-hour drive to get back home again. I wish I could have uh, videotaped this when I took the uh, coil pack apart. But when I did, um, this is the potting material that's inside uh, these ignition modules. And when I took the coil pack off, this potting material, <laughs> it was just like liquid glue, and it was stuck. Um, to the coil pack um, and that's uh, I was kind of happy when I saw this I knew immediately what the problem was and uh, as you can see this stuff is uh, the potty material just it just melted it it's it's done and it looks like it was uh, starting to burn up here in the far end I, I give Kelly credit man the guy's got balls he drove two hours with this I I don't know even know how the car made it here seriously but anyway um, I'd like to take a quick moment to thank Steve Wood. Uh, he gave me a quick tip today on to check the coil pack when it's hot. And Kelly come right off the highway. We pulled the hood up immediately, and I checked the coil pack. Um, the ohm value was was right off the scale on one of the coil packs. So I had a known good coil pack here. So I also swapped out the, another coil pack on here for Kelly as well. Uh, we took the car outside of town and I live in a very, very small little resort town and there's a strip of pavement probably about three quarters of two, to a mile long. So we got out there and leaned into it and the car revved out just as smooth as milk. Um, Kelly was pretty, uh, he was all smiles when he left here, so I'm happy to. It's, uh, he loves his car, and uh, it's always good when you see somebody having a big smile on their face. It's pretty cool. Anyway, um, again, this is um, what the uh, potting material looks like, and like I said, it's uh, it's melted all the shit, and, uh, but that was the problem with it. Anyway, guys, um, if you're having a problem, um, if the car falls flat on its face, uh, this could be the issue and if it doesn't want to start when it's hot but it does cold this might be your problem right here okay um, anyway that's about it for today guys have a great day thanks so much for watching take care